Inside Miss Salim's third grade class at Hart Elementary, there's a desk empty. Lovejoy ISD says Abigail Rasher died in this wreck on the Lake Levon Bridge Wednesday. DPS says a 20-year-old in a tan Jeep didn't control his speed and crashed into her mom's maroon Nissan sedan, killing Abigail in the back seat. Her mom went to the hospital. None of the nine high schoolers in the sideswiped bus got seriously hurt. We've only been here since early November, and there's already been about four or five wrecks that we've seen. Just this one. Just right here at this corner. Alex Pritzos lives just down East Lucas Road. He says cars and trucks speed by, and there's no real shoulder, no room for any error, especially not on the bridge. If you're used to these roads, it's kind of a double-edged sword because you know they're not safe, but I think people get comfortable, right? Less than two miles from the wreck that killed Abby, firefighters responded to another crash just this morning. Yeah, you can see the debris. It's just uh, 10, 15 years is, is just astronomical number of increased in call volume. Chief Ted Stevens says the Lucas Fire Department goes to more and more wrecks as more and more people move in. Area as a whole has just infiltrated with houses and people and traffic, et cetera, and that's not just Lucas. More cars puts more traffic on narrow main roads, leading to more calls like the one last night. He says first responders couldn't have done anything more to save Abigail, but losing her has hit especially hard. I don't know, it's just a, a burden on my shoulders that seemed a little bit heavier than it has in the past. In Collin County, I'm Cole Sullivan.